Hello everybody, so this is just a quick review of the Papa John's vegan pizza. So uh, long story short, a little bit of context about me, uh, I've been vegan for just over four years and at the time of hearing about Papa John's it wasn't available, uh, certainly in this in this country. And so um, I had not tried a Papa John's pizza, ever in fact. And so the other day it was announced and I managed to catch it on Instagram that Papa John's, thanks to a petition that had gone around, which I just really wasn't aware of, uh, they had released or were planning to release a vegan range of pizzas using vegan cheese. And uh, they will be the first franchise chain to do this across all of their stores because Domino's do offer it in some of their locations, but not all of the locations. And so far there is no pizza company, a well-known company, that is delivering uh, a vegan pizza. And so, um, I just kind of head back from my run and I thought, do you know what, let me just look it up, it's 28th of January and this is the day it was due to be released. I thought, I know what will happen, I probably won't be able to order it, it will be sold out or they won't have it in store or some palaver like that. Um, I was, like I say, I was on my run so I had no payment card, PayPal, bang, uh, ordered it and it is about to arrive. On the screen I'll put up a couple of uh, snapshots of what they also offer for the vegan market. I mean, you can find this yourself anyway, just hit their website, there's nothing too flash or exciting or too difficult to find. Straight there, vegan options. Uh, just to summarize, I've got a couple of pizzas, all sorts of different sizes. Uh, again, you know, the cost you can imagine is um, comparable to any other pizza place. I've got a medium pizza coming, I think it's £13.49 delivered. Um, the highly rave talked about Marmite scrolls are also available. Um, Marmite scrolls, whirls, whatever they are. Uh, I'm not a fan of Marmite. I didn't order them. I think they're about five or six pound. I just didn't see the, the point and I don't actually need to, to order them this evening anyway. Maybe it's something I do another night. Anyway, it's about to arrive. When it arrives, I will uh, just give you a little snapshot of what it looks like. And um, I mean, you'll watch me eat. I guess I'll describe it. And uh, yeah, that's it. Just summarise. Only be a short vid, so kind of stick around, see the visuals, and uh, if you fancy ordering, pop on to Papa John's website and uh, dive in. Okay, so you would have seen, you know, a clip of me being all trying to be clever with opening it. Let's dive in. So I'm gonna put the ingredients uh, up on the screen for this, but basically what we've got here is um, mushrooms, sweet corn, peppers, tomatoes, garlic dip. Let's have a quick look at that. Garlic dip, I don't even know if that's vegan actually. Uh, don't know, don't know, not sure. Anyway, let's see how this thing tastes. By the way, you can get it in medium. Uh, a thin crust if you want to. I just go on with the original. Hmm. That's a solid pizza. Now the cheese. The cheese which they've trademark registered, whatever it is. That is pretty good. I also remember I have had another pizza. The best pizza I've had is the one at ZZ's restaurant. Incredible. Their rice milk cheese is out of this world. Does this rival it? It's okay. It's okay. I think given that there's there's quite a small amount of cheese on here, I think if I had the concentrated cheese and tomato, cheese and tomato pizza, I'm likely to have said it was a bit of overkill, but that's pretty good. Um, I would probably also next time go for the hot option, the hot and spicy pizza, just to give it a little bit more of a kick. But it's a very similar to your typical kind of veggie, vegetarian, um, you know, typical standard veggie pizza. So all in all, good effort, Papa John's. Um, yeah, kind of I'd say probably six and a half, seven out of ten at a push. But worth trying if you're interested in getting yourself a pizza. And I think there's also a deal on as well where you spend over £15, you get 50% off. I think I missed that deal. 
Anyway, I'm going to carry on eating this. And, uh, yeah.